Sports photography is not a studio shoot. We can't control the action, the lighting, the environment. What we can control is the equipment that we use to capture those moments. We need it to deliver and it needs to work in all weather conditions. In 2018 I was shooting a lot of winter sports. We were fighting dreadful conditions. The Nikon cameras and the Nikon lenses, they withstand these extremes that we put them to. We always need to send images straight to the client in real time. For me, the Nikon D5 is the camera that delivers all the time. Portrait of Linda at training session. For me as a sports photographer, I can't miss a moment. It needs to be seamless and simultaneous. I need to be able to transfer files while I'm editing and I'm shooting. The image quality is very critical for us. Our editors can't spend a lot of time retouching photos. It starts with taking a great shot, but I also want the workflow to be seamless. We must long jump athlete number five. If you can make it to a vertical, please. I put in a voice tag telling them who the player in the picture is, but also if I want it cropped in a special way. It's very important that the shot reflects my vision, but also that we get it out there as fast as possible. When a key moment happens, I need to be able to rely on autofocus. It could be continuous focusing with different points, or it could be group autofocus or 3D tracking, for example. The high ISO capabilities of D5 has given me much more freedom to work with. I can take shots in darker conditions. In my kit bag, I have a lot of lenses because you never know how close you're gonna get to the action. With the Nikko lens lineup, you could go from 8mm until 800. So with the D5 and all these lenses, there's really no limitation of what I can do. When everything falls in place, it's a truly great feeling. I will not switch it for anything else. And when that happens, I'm really glad I'm shooting with Nikon. <laughs>